Okay, so let's have another lesson for today. It's all about arithmetic sequence, okay? Uh, we're going to use the formula of the arithmetic sequence or the arithmetic rule, which is the a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times the common difference. Can we have the following objectives? The first one is to find the n term or what we call the a sub n. And the second one, we're going to find a sub 1 or what we call the first term of the sequence. And the third one, we're going to find n or what we call the number of terms. And the last one, uh, we're going to find the d which is the common difference of the sequence. Okay, now let's start. Okay, we have to recall first the arithmetic rule, which is the a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times the common difference d, where a sub n is the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. Okay, so let's have the first objective. Find the nth term or a sub n. Okay, if a sub n is unknown, what are we going to do? We have an example. Find the 11th term of the arithmetic sequence 3, 6, 9. Okay, the first step is to find the given. Okay, so in this example, a sub n is unknown. a sub n will be a sub 11 because we're going to find the 11th term of the sequence. Okay, so our a sub 1 or the first term is 3 and number of terms is 11, okay, which is 11 term, okay, and d is 3, which is the common difference, okay, and then we're going to substitute the values in the formula, okay, so a sub n will be a sub 11, then it is equal to a sub 1, which is 3, plus the value of n is 11 minus 1 and d is 3. Okay, then we have now a sub 11 equals 3 plus 11 minus 1 is 10 times 3. The next we have a sub 11 equals 3 plus 10 times 30 equals 30. And then a sub 11 now is equal to 3 plus 30 is 33. Therefore, our 11th term is 33. Okay, now let's have the second objective. We're going to find the first term, okay, which is a sub 1. If the first term is unknown, what are we going to do? We have an example. The 16th term of an arithmetic sequence is 48. If the common difference is 3, find the first term, okay? So again, our unknown here is the first term. Okay, um, the given are the common difference and the 16th term, which is the last term, okay, which is 48. So, we have the a sub n is equal to a sub 16, which is 48. Next is a sub 1, which is the unknown. Then, another given, which is n, the number of terms, which is 16. And the common difference, d equals 3, okay? So, now let's substitute the values, the formula. We have uh, a sub n will be a sub 16. It is equal to a sub 1, which is unknown, plus n is 16 minus 1 times d, which is 3. Okay, next, a sub 16 will be 48. Then, it's equal to a sub 1 plus 16 minus 1 is 15 times 3 okay then now we have 48 equals a sub 1 plus 15 times 3 equals 45 okay now we solve for a sub 1 to solve for a sub 1 we can apply the addition property of equality but this time i'm going to transpose 45 to the other side Okay, so positive 45, it will become negative 45. It will change the sign. So, 48 minus 45 equals a sub 1. Then, 48 minus 45 equals 3. So, therefore, our first term is 3. Okay, now let's have the next objective to find the common difference, which is um, D. Okay, and we have an example. 
find the common reference of the arithmetic sequence with a sub 3 equals 11 and a sub 5 equals 19. Okay, so we have to find the common difference of the sequence. Now, um, we're going to have the sequence which is a sub 1 is unknown, a sub 2 is also unknown, then 11 is a sub 3, and another unknown is a sub 4, and then a sub 5 is 19 which is um, the last term. Okay, so how are you going to find the difference now? Uh, what are we going to do? Okay, so now we have the next step. Since there is no a sub 1, we can temporarily use the a sub 3 be the first term or a sub 1. Okay, so we have 11 be the first term. Again, a sub 2 is unknown and a sub 3 is 19. Okay, so our last term now is 19. Okay, now let's have the solution of the given sequence. Uh, we have the first term is 11, the second term is unknown, and our a sub 3 or the third term is 19, which is the last term. Okay, now we're going to find the given a sub n or the last term, which is a sub 3 is 19. And then a sub 1 or the first term is 11. Then the next one, n is 3 which is the number of terms and d is unknown the common difference okay now let's substitute the values of a sub n a sub 1 and n okay so we have a sub 3 equals a sub 1 is 11 plus n is 3 minus 1 times d which is unknown and a sub 3 will be 19 it is equal to 11 plus 3 minus 1 is 2 so we have 2d then we solve for D. Okay, in order to solve for D, we can apply the addition property of equality. So, but this time I'm going to transpose 11 to the other side. Okay, so positive 11 will change the sign. It becomes negative 11. So, we have 19 minus 11 equals to D. 19 minus 11 is 8 equals to D. Okay, then we're going to divide both sides by 2. So we can have we can now have 2d divided by 2 is d and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we have d is equal to 4, which is the common difference of the sequence. So if we're going to check if it is correct, 11 plus 4 equals 15 plus 4 equals 19. Okay, so the common difference is correct. Okay, now let's have the next objective. Find the n or the number of terms of the sequence, which is n is a known. Example, how many terms are in an arithmetic sequence whose first term is negative 3, the common difference is 2, and the last term is 23. Okay. The first step is to find what are the given. Okay, we have a sub n equals 23, a sub 1 is negative 3, and we have the n, which is unknown, okay? And we have the d, or the common difference, 2. Okay, so again, we're going to substitute these values to the formula. We have now, a sub, in, a sub n will be 23, equals a sub 1 will be negative 3, plus n is unknown so we have now n minus 1 times 2 which is the common difference okay now let's simplify okay we're going to apply the distributive property so we have 2 times n and 2 times negative 1 okay now we have 23 minus 3 plus 2 times n is 2n and 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 then the next step is to add negative 3 and negative 2. So we have 23 equals 2n, negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. And then the next step is to uh, transpose negative 5 to the other side. So to transpose negative 5 to the other side, we change the sign. So negative, it will become positive. So we have now 23 
plus 5 equals 2n. Then, 23 plus 5 equals uh, 28 equals 2n. Okay, again, to solve for n, we're going to divide both by 2. So, now we have 2n divided by 2 is equal to n. 28 divided by 2 is 14. Okay, therefore, the number of terms is 14. So, therefore, 23 is 14th term of the given sequence.